Hello, my lovely friends at Facebook. Uh, hi to everyone at Cosmoprof and of course, my fabulous friends at Joico. We are going to share with you over the next 45 minutes, three hairstyles on beautiful Carla. And she's here all the way from New York via Brazil. <laughs> Riba, riba. Very exciting. So she's gorgeous. And we have something super exciting to tell you. During this show, we're going to be doing a sweepstake muse. So you think, what is that? Well, you can win a prize today. And the prize is all expenses paid to come to New York for a private workshop with myself. And it's totally cool. that will be to a very, very small group and it's going to be amazing. So you can win that today and we'll give you the information for that at the end of the show. And also we're going to be giving away some fabulous Joico product. So stay and pay attention. And guess what? The people who are most active on our engagement, you stand the best chance of winning. So that's a clue. So let's get into the first hairstyle. Are you ready? So um, I have a gorgeous set. And in the before shot of um, Carla, we had obviously much finer texture of hair. And the most important thing was to add as much body as possible to her texture. So I'm just going to run my fingers through the hair. And the set that I actually gave her was a twist and a stretching through. Uh, so it was a very, very pretty set. So what I want to do is talk to you about face shape and how I do my consultation. So if I step to the side, you can see that here is high and here is very narrow. And what's important is to build this out to therefore make the jawline, which is a beautiful, strong jawline, look actually smaller. So therefore, notice here, flat, it makes the jawline look strong. And when I build it out, it looks much more gorgeous. So the hairstyle we're going to do. Where's my comb? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by back combing here to this side. So I'm going to take a vertical section and I'm going to over direct the hair backwards. And I'm going to, out of the three looks, this one is going to be glamorous with a romantic feeling to it. So here I'm just going to smooth the hair back. Can you see that? And then my next section, I'm going to come back here. Notice how I hold the hair. And I'm going to rock on the underneath. I'm stacking and packing. And then I'm walking it through and then I'm smoothing it, so I get that nice effect. So uh, don't forget to share with your friends while we're doing this, um, so we have more people at the party. And here we can see we're stacking and packing, and we're just going to now connect that thin amount of hair to the hair on the underneath. So obviously, this is real time. <laughs> so you're going to see me be challenged with hair, possibly and possibly not. So here, I want to just do my reality check in the mirror. So I'm just going to come over here and look at the balance of the shape. I'm going to come back to you and just check that balance. You know, I thought wearing black was a good idea, but I can't see my silhouette like this. <laughs> I should have worn screaming pink. <laughs> but anyway, now that I've got that there, I'm going to now use a very light amount of hairspray. And I'm going to be using a power spray, which is uh, ten, uh, 8 to 10, and I'm going to spray directionally, spray very lightly, and then run my fingers through so I can create some separation. Do you see that lovely separation? I just have that nice separate effect. Now I'm going to put in one of my playing cards, and I'm going to put my card in here and my clip there, and it's your lucky number. It's number nine. <laughs> what do they sing in bingo? Nine, 99. Or they have all these great expressions, don't they, in bingo? Ever done bingo? You haven't? Where have you been? <laughs> so we're going to change the head shape here. So I'm going to back home through there, but I want to talk to you about the three wheels of fashion. Uh, we earlier uh, did a, uh, a beautiful collection with Joico called Salon Ideas. And in that, we did the three wheels of fashion. And the three wheels of fashion are really quite interesting because it's changed how I do a consultation. So for example, the first thing I want to know is how quiet or loud should my hairstyle be? 
Then the next thing I want to know is how, where does my client live in fashion? What kind of fashion and style? So we're going to do something quite elegant and chic today. Then the next thing I need to ask is what is the femininity of my look? So that is the three wheels of fashion, how quiet or loud, where does my client live within fashion, and then go from there. So notice here I'm going to push and just bring that through. And again, I need to work to my mirror and just make sure that's right. And notice how I've changed the head shape from where it was before. So this is going to drop forward. So now what I need to do is just give a little bit of teasing at the root here. So I'm going to stack and pack just there. So I have a little bit more fullness. Then I'm going to bring this back and push it forwards. And I'm going to change my tool. I'm going to go to a big comb. Back and push it forwards. So the hair has been preset with a, some very important products. First of all, we use our Joyco. Oh, I'm hearing things. Our Joy Whip. First of all, we prep the hair with Joy Whip. Okay? And then when I was setting, I did some humidity blocker. And now I'm going to put in a little bit of body shake. So I'm going to shake this baby. I'm going to do it uh, your style, Brazilian style. You've got to shake it until you can hear it. <laughs> so now we're going to brush this hair through very, very lightly. I'm going to use a little bit of hairspray. What happened to the hairspray? Oh, there it is. So I'm going to use, see how I've got that lovely wave? I'm going to lift that up there just a little bit. I'm going to bring this around. Open this up softly. Now what I'm going to do next is actually start to take the hair and twist it around. So I'm coming from here and I'm going to twist, 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 and twist. So we get this beautiful movement. Then I'm going to use my pins. Do you mind holding that for me? Nope. Gorgeous. And I'm going to actually use a Japanese pin so I'm twisting around here, and now I'm going to come up, down, and so, and so, and so, and then I take this part of the pin and I bend it backwards. So what I actually have, and turn around, is the hair cascading all of through here to create this gorgeous softness and this kind of glamorous effect. So here we want a little bit more volume, so we're going to back brush to create more volume and make that be fuller. And we're going to now take one of my other clips and we're going to lift this baby up. There you go. And we're going to put some more of our lovely spray in here, our Power Spray by Joico. And we're going to sweep that around. Maybe I need a four inch nail. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my pantyhole on a coat hanger. And this is how I train my staff, smacky, smacky, naughty bottom. So, <laughs> blow dryer. So just applying some heat, let that cold set. While that's happening, we're going to take this off and just check the balance of the hairstyle. I'm now <laughs> going to shake. <laughs> and we're going to spray product all over this gorgeous dress. <laughs> so this I am using is Body Shake. And it's really wonderful for creating such incredible texture in the hair um, to really get a definition and separation. Now, please do bear in mind, I am doing three looks today, so I don't want to over product and I do want to layer. So this comes out. We've got that nice lift. So now we must do our reality check of our balance. Oh, we still have the playing card in here. <laughs> Take that out. 
So what we have is, let's just check the whole silhouette. We have this beautiful movement. We have the hair cascading around. And this is really quite lovely, don't you think? It's really pretty. And if we want to just open this up a little bit more, so it's one pin holding that. If I want to dimple it, I can just come through and lock. I can come through with my Japanese pin and lock. And then I can pull some pieces out a little bit and make it more undone. What's that? I have no idea. OK, just tuck that there. And I think we're ready now to do our photograph. So would you mind standing up for me, darling? Always check your looks from up above and make sure that everything is right for the balance. And I think that we have a really pretty first look, which is glamorous. So Nathaniel's going to take some pictures. And it's really important that when you are actually doing a photo shoot and you're shooting your images for Instagram, that you really do capture every single gorgeous angle. So this first look, following our three wheels of fashion, shows that it is not too quiet, but not too loud. So I would say an ambivert. From a fashion perspective, we have chic and we have glamorous, but we have a little sensuality which makes it really, really beautiful. So my beautiful model has gorgeous hair, but it's very soft and it's on the finer side. So our first goal was to set the hair and get a lot of product into the hair. So then the next thing that I needed to do was evaluate. I'm going to do a ponytail now with some soft pieces around the front. So in doing a ponytail, I'm going to bring the ponytail around to the left, but I want to bouffant it. If I boof on all of her own hair, then there won't be sufficient hair laying in the ponytail. So for example, if we go to this shop that we have right now, you can see all the different ponytails. The ponytail that would drop down, the ponytail that's at the occipital bone, and the ponytail that lifts. So when you design a ponytail, it's really important to make sure from profile the balance is correct. So I'm going to put the ponytail quite low, but I do want a bouffant. So if I've got thick hair, I can make a hair pad out of the hair, right? This is a hair pad. But let me show you, and, and of course they come, you can buy them. But I find these a little heavy, these donuts, so I make my own. Are you interested to know how I make my own hair pad? You're about to see. So here we have the hair that's frizzy, and we're going to now take a wire brush. I use this on my horse. Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, it's really good to use on a dog or a hair pad. So what I'm doing is I am backcombing the hair, and this method is called cotton candy, and it gives lots of amazing texture. And this is going to be one heck of a large hair pad. But once I've got this all backcombed, I then make a shape. I then take my hairnet. You didn't realize you were going to be helping me, did you? Okay. <laughs> and then we take all of this in here, and we stuff it. It's like stuffing a turkey, isn't it? And here we have one lovely hair pad. So this hair pad, if you bought a big ponytail of frizzy hair, you could probably, out of one hair pad, what would you think, make six, pony six hair pads at least? So it costs you like 50 cents. There you go. So we're going to use a hair pad that I've already made that's the right color. So first of all, let's talk about planning. I'm going to give you my pins again. And welcome, if any of you have just joined. Uh, we're doing a demonstration of three looks today on beautiful Carla. Um, we're also very excited to tell you that we have some wonderful giveaway prizes. And one of the prizes is to win a all expenses played uh, workshop with me here in New York. We're also going to be giving away products during the show. So do stay tuned because we've got lots of fun things to work on. Let's talk about the ponytail and planning. So when I'm looking here and I'm looking at the balance of my shape, I actually have a couple of mirrors. And I look and I go, OK, would I like the shape to be there? Or would I like it to be further back? And I think just a nod at the front and that shape would be really beautiful, because from there I can see my ponytail. Do you agree? 
Yeah? So the first thing is I've got to pin this at the right place and then pin it so that it's secure because there'd be nothing more tragic than for Carla to be walking down the road and her donut, her hair pad, <laughs> would be a disaster. So I want to talk to you. This hair here, I'm not backcombing because I want it to land into the ponytail. So when you're working with very fine hair, the most important thing is, first of all, to do a little bit of teasing at the base so that you've got something to pin into, but you still have all the lovely length of the hair. And that's very, very, very important. So I just need a little bit of teasing just at this base in order to secure that. So now I put my hair pad on. Now, as I mentioned before, if, just got to see which way this should go. Hold on. If I have it there or there. Okay, so if I put it there at the back, And this shouldn't be rushed, this part. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. So this is my area here. And are we doing well, guys? It's, it's yeah, it's going yeah good. we're good. So are there any questions? Someone actually before had asked if they were traveling um, more than six hours away, how would they be able to make their client keep their style perfect? If you're traveling a distance, the client has to travel a distance once their hair is done. Um, well, if she's going in an open buggy, <laughs> all bets are off. But if she's in a car and you've prepped for the environment that she's going to be living in, it's all about prepping the hair. You know, the number one thing in any dress work is the set. So once you get a good set, then you know it, it is so much easier. So it is about having great product. And I'm just going to make sure the balance is right. Oh, she's leaning, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have that. Does that look symmetrical, guys? Yes? Because yeah. she was leaning, like me. Do you like my hair up? Do you? I feel naked, no hair to hide behind. Right, so now we've got that. So now the next thing is we're going to take a comb. Right and we're going to now back comb the hair over here and I want it to be a little bit undone so I'm going to just come through here and back comb this through and notice the teeth of the comb are going flat now as I'm going to take this back I don't want to really comb it here I'm going to stack and pack stack and pack turn and then gently the comb flat lay it over and I just want it to be messy and undone so I don't want to comb it smooth so I'm just going to put a holding pin in there it's my next section let me just check my balance which is so important to check the balance of your style so here again I'm going to take another section here and I'm going to take that and, and stack and pack now the back combing acts as your foundation the most important thing when you are dressing hair, number one, is the product that you use. So the products that we used in this and the foundation for this was so very, very important. So we started off with our, our Joico Joy Mousse. We then went into putting some humidity spray, anti-humidity spray into the hair so that we could actually get an amazing iron set. Um, from there, I've been layering the hair with some products, so we've done the, the, um, the body shake. So there's lots of product in this hair, but it still is touchable and easy to work with. I have twisted the hair, and as I'm twisting, I want to make sure that my shape is beautiful all the way around. So I've got that softness, you'll see it's undone. And I've got some nice movement there. Notice how important it is to study the shape from every single angle and gently pull it apart. So now I have that, I can now take my Japanese pin and I can go to the right, down to the scalp, and to the left. And there we have that nicely pinned. 
So now again, check the profile and check the balance. To make sure that it's absolutely beautiful. And now here, I'm going to take this hair and I'm going to gather both of these pieces. So this is my second section and I'm going to twist. And I'm going to pin and I'm going to come up, down and through. Always locking. When you use a long hairpin, you must lock. It's very, very important. So before I go any further, again, I need to turn around and check the balance. So I have two twists. So now I'm going to take all of this hair with the twist over into my ponytail. And so now I'm going to take this into a low ponytail here. Again, before I secure, I want to look at my shape from every single angle. And we're going to go all the way around. And that works really quite nicely. So now again, I'm going to take it into the ponytail and uh, use a dark elastic band. And just secure this here. We just got a ton of new viewers there. It's all working now. So welcome, everybody. OK. So welcome to all of our new people who have joined us. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, we're going to be doing three hairstyles. So we've already done one that was sleek and elegant. And now we're doing our kind of lazy ponytail meets a twist. And um, I was saying the most important thing about when you are doing dress work is the ability to build a great foundation. And once you have a great foundation, uh, anything is possible. So everything's about balance. And my go-to is always creating a oval face shape. So you can see that Carla here, my beautiful model, has beautiful chiseled bone structure. And we want to make sure that we don't make her look too angular. So what I'm doing here is I'm dimpling. I'm harvesting and dimpling. Harvesting means you're gathering around and you're pinning, which is really kind of fun. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm creating dimension and texture within the silhouette. So now what I'm going to do is use my beach shake just to kind of fluff this up a bit more. I think I need some on me. Oh, I've got to shake it. Oh, I've got to shake it. You must shake it. <laughs> so let's just give some nice texture to the hair and let's get some texture in here so that it's nice and loose. And this time I think we have it more down and around the face where before we were lifting up. What's that? I don't know. Where's that meant to go? Maybe back. We'll see. If it's meant to go back, I bring out the arm force here. This fabulous spray, again by Joyco, and it's a level 10, 8 to 10, and we just want that nice and undone. And it, undone is an art, isn't it? So it's undone without it looking too much like a, a helmet. And this is pretty and soft through here, that falling down. So I'm just going to study my shape, and let's just see what it looks like without the cape. And let's organize the necklace. So hair is a vital accessory to the ever-changing world of fashion. So when we're looking here at our look, um, you can see that I need to just expand the hair a little bit more. So I mentioned in this, this tutorial that I was using a hair pad because I couldn't afford to take hair from he here and lose it in the ponytail. And that's really, really important. So when one's designing this, you must evaluate the quality of the hair and how dense the hair is, and then determine, do I need to use hair extensions or do I need to use a hair pad? Which one is going to work the best for me? And then also, when hair's going to fall down, determine how much is enough. And I'm just wondering whether I should even take it back. Somebody's asking you if this is a wedding look. <laughs> is this what? Is it a wedding look? No, I wouldn't say it's a wedding look. Well, you could do it for a wedding if you wanted to. You could do it for a wedding. Um, do you like it down or do you like it around the face? Guys, which do you prefer? Soft around the face? Yeah. Soft around the face. Soft around the face. 
All right, so I just moved, removed some of my back combing. So the, the question was, could you do this for a wedding? You can do it for anything. Um, you can do it for a day look. When it's day, you keep it a little bit smaller. When it is um, a wedding, depending on the scale of the dress, you can make it larger. So it just depends on, you know, what your young lady is wearing. I mentioned that my consultation is a, very much about the three wheels of fashion. And that, those three wheels of fashion are so important to me because, I'm just fiddling around with these pieces, seeing where they go. Uh, because in the three wheels of fashion, I need to make sure that I don't make it too loud for what the lady can actually wear. So I just want to see if that works better. Like having it more around. No, I prefer, well, actually it's cool. You look beautiful with anything. So now I'm going to take it back down again. I think it's soft, it's great. So we, well, let's have you stand up. And so let's recap what we actually did. We have a hair pad here, one of these. Uh, we kept the hair messy, so we laid the hair over and we back home to keep it more relaxed and undone. We did two twists. We have a twist here and a twist here. And if you want to get rid of the elastic band, um, you would take, let's see if I can show you real quick, uh, to hide the elastic band, you can take some hair around. Let's take a tiny piece, take it around. And around and now I'm going to take my hook and take it right the way through the ponytail I'm going to come through there I'm going to close the hook bring it all the way down and through uh oh don't get stuck it got stuck so I'm just going to tuck it I did the band so tight. Okay, that's a tip, isn't it? Basically, I just pulled it through the center, but you can see I've hit the elastic band. Does that make sense? So you pull it through, and that way it goes through the center. Okay, let's take some pictures. So are there any questions? And guys, um, I mentioned at the beginning of the show um, how important it is for you to pay attention during this because we're going to be giving away some Joyco products and we we'll also um, have a sweepstake where I'll give you the information at the end where you can go to Joyco and you can actually sign up and enter our competition and the winner will win a all expenses paid trip to New York uh, with a workshop with me. So that would be a whole lot of fun. So we'll give you that information at the end of the, uh, the session. Back. Okay, let's do some back. So now we're going to go into our third and final look. So we did the nice sexy wave and the glamorous look. So now what we're going to do is go into a classic French twist and then I'm going to do hair sewing. So for those of you who have never seen hair sewing before, this would be absolutely amazing uh, for you to see. Uh, we're going to actually work with all of her own hair. So you saw me working with a hair pad and the reason why I used the hair pad was because I didn't have enough volume in the hair. So two options you have, a hair piece, a hair full, hair extensions. But if you're going to do a lot of different looks, hair extensions can sometimes provide limitations. So when you have a hair pad like this little baby, this would be a real surprise, wouldn't it? A man saying, oh, darling, I can't wait to run your, my fingers through your hair. And you go, oh, what about my pillow that's in my head, right? <laughs> so <laughs> we're now going to take the hair back off the face. And we're going to start off by actually creating our bouffant, first of all. So I'm going to start at the crown. So I don't know why I took it backwards, but we're going to start at the crown. <laughs> OK, so here we're going to go into the crown section and we're going to stack and pack. And create a nice cushion there. And we're going to come through into this area and we're going to stack and pack and create a nice cushion. I mentioned uh, earlier in the show that it is so important to prep the hair with the right products. And so Nathaniel, could you please just show the products that we have used um, in this hairstyle? The third one? Yes, please. Yes. 
just so that you can see how we have prepped the hair, but you can also see how actually how pliable the hair is, which makes it really, really great. So I'm going to subdivide this into two parts. I'm going to subdivide the front. So what I'm doing here is creating my foundation and I'm going to create this smooth effect through here, smoothing back very, very lightly. And the first thing I'm going to do is take this into a ponytail. And that's a really nice way of getting it smooth. So when I use this brush, I'm using the edge of the brush. The edge, all the way through here, just the edge. And I'm going to start off smooth and then I'm going to sew it. So I have that smooth here. So now I'm going to make sure that my shape is correct. And I'm then going to twist the hair. So let me show you how I'm going to twist the hair. So it's another twist again. So I'm twisting. And now I'm going to use my pin and I'm going to lock it into place. And I'm this time going to take a very strong pin. It's not a Japanese pin. It's very, very strong. So from here, I'm going to go locking to the right, down to the scalp, and to the left. Anytime you use these pins, it must be a pin that is finding resistance. We're going to use this really cool head comb. So we're going to put that there and slide back. And where this goes is very important, how far back we go. And again, as I've said all the way through this show, check the balance. And now's the time to do the checking of the balance. And if it is a little bit off, which mine was, <laughs> we just repin. Okay, so I've got a nice shape that way. I've got a nice shape this way. Um, anything that needs to be lifted, we can lift. That's where a bicycle pump would be good, wouldn't it? Like, put more air into it. You know, they say backcombing is like making a souffle. You know, you take it out of the oven and all of a sudden the whole thing collapses. <laughs> so now we're going to do the underneath of this. So I, I don't have to worry about this. It's going to be part of my wrap. So now I'm going to come through the centre back and I'm going to backcomb and I'm going to direct the hair and I'm going to pin up the spine and do, as I say, a classic French twist, but then I'm going to make it much more modern and I'm going to undo the whole thing. So here you can see I'm stacking and packing and then I'm meshing as I walk around. Next section, I come at my base and I stack and pack and then I walk around. And I continue to do that coming through at my base and then walking around. So now with this, I'm going to very lightly brush. I'm not going to put hairspray on yet. Hairspray will come at the very end. So now I'm going to smooth this hair here. And now I'm going to pin with bobby pins up the spine. So I'm going to put my first pin right here at the base. And I'm going to crisscross my pins so that they're interlocked. And then I'm going to twist it in the other direction. So coming through here and locking. And you have to have a structure before you can undo the structure. And that's very, very, very important. So right the way through. The big thing when I'm teaching my workshops here in New York, um, is always saying to the stylist, stop, check your balance in the mirror. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to stop. I'm going to check my balance in the mirror. So now I have my back area pinned. So now I'm going to come this way and I'm going to actually start to work in the opposite direction. So the amount of volume that I put through here is dependent on how small or chunky. Vivian, I'm sorry, somebody was asking what kind of comb you're using right now. This is a comb that has um, lots of different teeth to it. So usually I use just a very simple comb. I'll show you what I usually use. I usually use this. Oops. But I'm using this today 
because the hair is resistant. So it's important that I use a comb, the right tool for the product. So here I'm do doing my base and I'm walking it around. I also will use a tail brush too for a lot of my work. So here what I want to do is make sure that I'm getting into the roots, right at the base, and then walking it around. And then continuing to my last section. And then I'm going to put this into the twist. Then I'm going to start doing my hair sewing, which will be really pretty exciting. So here now we change tools because that's going to grab. I now go to my little, um, my little round brush. It's an oval brush. I twist this around here. Now this is very important. As I'm coming through here, I'm now going to position my hands in the correct way. So making sure that this is nice and smooth. And now from here, I'm going to twist. Did you catch that? Is that nice twist? So look at how perfect that is right now. Very perfect, isn't it? Can you see that? And we've got some nice shine. And the shine is coming from all the products that we put into the hair. So now, what do you do with this bit? You just simply cut it off. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> she says, what? No, you're not. You just cut it off. You don't know what to do with it. No, you tuck it around on the inside. And you tuck it inside. Again, it's like stuffing an old turkey. You tuck it all through there. And now we're going to pin. We're going to go up towards the ceiling and down towards the scalp. I'm now going to start sewing this to create a very broken effect. So let's just show you this first of all because there's some important things regarding the pinning. I don't want to pin this too securely because I want to pull it apart. But if I want to really get this shape sitting somewhat differently, what I can do, I'm just going to take this pin out right now. If I want to put this pin in here, if I go in with the head of the pin, come out through here and then come back down and through, I make the pin vanish. And that's really a wonderful way of pinning. So I'm going to now dismantle this hairstyle. I have elastic thread and I have a needle. And here we go. We're going to start in the underneath and I'm going to thread through and I'm going to hold the end of the thread that is doubled right to there and I'm going to cut that off afterwards. I'm going to need some scissors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here and through here and I'm going to come through and through and you can see the shape is changing as I start to sew that. You can see all the little valleys and peaks. So now I'm going to pull it apart a little bit more and pull it apart. And now here, I'm going to pull this apart and creating all these lovely valleys and peaks. So now we're going to come around to the other side so that you can see more sewing. People love your pinning tip. They're all like, the best thing is that doesn't hurt nothing. It's amazing. <laughs> and sewing through here. And notice how much the shape is changing. So again, when we look at our shape, we've got all these valleys and peaks coming in. And then we're just going to come through and we're going to do the same through here. We're going to pull it apart and pull it apart. And really what we're doing is it, is it is more designed than you would think because I'm watching how the hair is responding. And here I'm going to pull it apart a bit more and pull it apart more so that we start to really undo the shape. But you still must have a shape. And again, that's one of the big things that I teach when I'm doing my workshops. You're, we're filming right now from my studio here in the Hamptons and I host workshops here. 
and we have very small classes and I'm able to really share real fundamentals with people and literally change the way they work with hair, which is amazing. And you know what? The big thing is changing how you see shape. In my consultations, before I used to be very focused on technique. What's the technique I'm using? What's the technique I'm using? Now technique is probably the last thing I think about. The first thing I think about is, is the, the fashion and sensibility of, of my client because I want to design from the inside out. So I can do the most amazing technique on somebody, but if, they, if it's not them, then it's not going to work, is it? So I'm going to now just use some spray into the hair to create some gorgeous texture. And this spray is the Joico Power Spray, a fantastic hairspray, and just giving me a lot more texture and, and dimension. And what I'm doing here is looking at the shape and the balance, because obviously it's imbalanced right there. And you can see that on this dark hair, I've got a lot more, thank you, I've got a lot more dimension than when we first started off. Is there a way to go to the beginning of how this was, like a, a screen capture to show everybody how it was? Just cut this little thread off. Wouldn't it be terrible if I cut the wrong thread? So now that I've pulled that apart, let's study the shape first of all, because the shape and the balance is really very, very important. And we're going to put the earrings on. And guys, uh, I was mentioning earlier in the show that we are giving away some amazing prizes. We're giving away some products. And I believe that how they're going to give away the products is for the person who's most active in the comments. I think that's how they're doing it. I, a little, I got a little secret that that's how. So get, get active, guys. Um, and also, um, we're giving away a... A free course, all expenses paid for a trip to New York, which is pretty exciting. So you can see I've got this lovely undone effect, but look at the back and how beautiful that's coming together. So when I want to pull it out a bit more, I just do this. And this was, before we, we pulled it apart, a classic French twist. And you can see, like, by me pulling it, I just get all this beautiful dimension. And I said to you, I didn't want to pin it too tight because I wanted to be able to pull it apart and have it undone. Can you see that enough? Yes? So the hairspray now acts as a way to give me more texture, more dimension, and it gives me a lot more movement. I'm just going to take this off so you can see the whole look from the front. And you can see that we have really some lovely valleys and peaks. If you want to really separate the hair even more, you can have some little anchor pins in there. But the whole goal is to have it just very soft and undone and relaxed. And make sure, too, you don't overhandle it. So I'm, there's an inner voice saying to me right now, Viv, stop. <laughs> Viv, stop. Okay, so I just want to make sure the balance is okay. Would you mind standing up for me, too? Again, look at your shape from every single angle. Can you do a slow turn for me? Yeah, so that, that works quite well. Cindy, what's your thoughts? Yeah. Do you see anything that I should Very fix? Nice. You, you like? Right there. there. Perfect. So remember, guys, every time I use a pin... I am using it and I am locking the hair into place. So I've shown you three demonstrations in the last 45 minutes, um, going from very, very sexy wave uh, to, with a twist, to the bouffant ponytail, to a classic French twist, but doing something interesting with it, which is the sewing. And the sewing is really marvelous. So it's this cool needle and thread. So we're gonna take some pictures and should you have any questions, let's hear from you. And of course, share with your friends what we're doing. And I hope to see you uh, on the road somewhere. And I wanna say a huge shout out to my friends at Cosmoprof for allowing me to be here today. And uh, I think this is a really fun way of doing it. So the idea is create a structure and then undo your structure so that you get something really, really soft and beautiful. And you can see also the accessories we've used change the total look and it makes it really quite lovely. So I hope you've enjoyed this and um, any questions? 
texts that are coming through? Huh? Nothing's no? coming through right now. Nothing coming through right now, okay. So I'm sure there are people that want to know how to win the sweepstake. Yes? Yes? yes. Okay. So what you will do is we will go to um, a link. Okay, I'm going to have you come and sit down here. You will go to a link on uh, a Joico site, and I think we're going to just show that right now where we're going to go. I think we are. Okay, so here you can see um, the sweepstake. Is the address there? Yes, so then you're going to go here to Joico, and it is your sweepstake muse uh, you're going to put in, and then you'll go to the next one, and then you'll see a form that you will actually fill out. And what we want to see from you is your favorite hairstyle. So one photograph. And we then want to know why you would like to come and do a class with me. And we will then be picking the winner. And that winner will come to New York and do a workshop with me, all expenses paid. So it's a wonderful gift from Joico. Check out the information down below on how you can enter the sweepstake and also find out about the giveaways. I want to say a huge thank you to Joico and a big thank you to Cosmoprof. And come and see me, guys. I live at hairdesignertv.com. So come and see me. Come to my website and you can sign up to one of my 900 videos. Mm -hmm. So see you online and hopefully, more importantly, see you on the road. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.